All right, I'm back. I'm gonna show you some stuff that I got. I'm gonna throw it all over here for you to see because it's in the shade. All right, I got one spool of rope, my Kool-Aid, one bottle of water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, one, eight, nine. Nine bottles of uh, nine cans. One, two, three, four, five plastic jugs. One bottle and two towels. And one plastic cup. And remember, trash is everywhere. Now, I want to show you how I make these crawfish traps. All right. First, you might need your knife. So let's get that out. All right, one rusty ass knife that needs to be clean. Basically, you want to open this up as much as you can. Try not to break the little tabs. And don't use your, your blade. Use the back of your, of your knife. It cuts just as well. And what you want to do is just fold that in. See how? Now that's a big crawfish. Make sure your tab is still good. Open your can as much as you can. And poke holes in it. Now, poking holes in it will help it sink better. Even though this thing got 22s all in it. Now watch what I did. To make the crawfish trap, just open that tab, take the back of your knife, put it down there, and down on the other side, and fold it down. Basically, you're just trying to open that thing up as much as you can. Now, you don't have to. You can leave it like it is. You might get a little smaller crawfish. All right, a couple beer cans. Those are pretty big for a nice crawfish, but you want to get a little bigger one, you got to open it up. Remember, use the back side of your blade, not your blade, and push that tab down. There you go. You don't want to push it towards you because the, the crawfish might say, well, that's hurt. So he might say, I'm not going in there because that thing hurts. I want to leave a couple like it is. Let's see if I can catch a couple minnows, maybe. Sometimes doing this, with the, it does destroy the can sometimes. You can always put it in the water, fill it up, and cast it out some. But that's how you make the crawfish trap. Now, what you want to do, depends on where you're putting these, you can make a trout line. Tie a can, tie a can, tie a can, and you keep your rope. Or you can make individually one and put one here, put one there, put one there. So what you want to do is go start, go one, Two, that's 10 feet. That's 10 feet of rope. You, if you think you need to go further out in the water, make it short, make it five feet. Go one, that's five feet. Depends on where you want it and where you want to put it. And see, that's all I'm doing is tying that right there, and that's it. There we go, one crawfish trap. 
Now I'm gonna make a trout line. So to make the trout line, just go through a can. Now if you want to keep this rope, you want to, you know, after you finish using these cans, you want to keep it. That's all you have to do is do a loop. Like a little shit. <laughs> it's been a while. I could just make a slip knot too. Like so. Now I keep it right where I want it. Working with gloves is not easy either. You make a little slip knot, put a little twig there if you want, tie it up tight, and voila. And so you need is a little bit twig. Voila. It's not going nowhere. And you want your string back, just pop that little slip knot. Pull the cans out off your rope. Oh shit. I forgot to put out the cans. Oh, so basically you have to bring it all the way to the end where you want to make. So one, I'm going to put two on this one. So we'll make a, a 10 foot rope. I can put three on here. So let's go ahead and grab this one. Make a slip knot. You can always take the slip knot and go over the little. Excuse me. You funny. Nope, I need a twig. Well, any little bitty twig would do. And voila. And tighten it up. It's not going nowhere. And then go ahead and put one more on this one. A twig. Now I'm not going to do too many, but you get the point. Now I got my little catfish trout line for car, for crawfish, and I got one right here for crawfish. All right, see what I mean? Made a little crawfish trout line, and one individual. So the rest of the can, we'll show you a little idea. Now what you want to do is take your knife, if you got a candle, if you brought some candles with you, take the back of your knife, stick it in, and go backwards with your knife. Make sure you go backwards, not forward, don't use your blade, go down so you can see. Go backwards. Then go backwards on the top, not cutting yourself. Now, you can put a candle in there, and it'll be a reflector for your candle. So just put your little candle in there, set it there, and you have a reflector. And it will get hot too, so you might keep you warm if you're doing winter time. All right. Um, you can also use the can as a reflector, like the, the aluminum foil. Thing. Where is it at? It's gone. All right, now since I'm here, I'm go ahead and make the wick, but we need water. Nice piece of towel. Let's go ahead and get. Let's make the wick. To make the wick, you can bring your own towel. You can probably can use toilet paper. I never tried toilet paper. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make the wick. Since the jar is so small, there's a bunch of ways you can make the wick. All right, this is for the jar, and this, I can use the whole thing, but 
I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece. All right. Now, make sure these are clean. If not, go wash them. And this is what you're going to do. This is not a purifier now. This is just to get the, the muck out your uh, dirty water out your the dirty water out. See this? Look how dirty that thing is. All right, now we need to get one of these ready. Oh, I'm going to show you how to make a crawfish trap right now with one of these, a two liter, a jug. What you do is cut that top off, damn it, <laughs> and place it in reverse, just like that. And you make your crawfish trap. Voila. This one's messed up. Damn it. And see this? It can be the same way with the cans. Poke a hole right here, tie a rope around this, and it's big enough for the crawfish. Poke a holes in it and throw that in the water. That could be also used as a crawfish trap. Now, I messed up my perfect... Well, this is how you make another crawfish trap if you can't find aluminum cans. You can use the, the plastic. Throw your bait down there. Uh, throw it in the water. Tie, put a hole here where your rope goes. And throw that in the water. And so you catch crawfish with the plastic ones. Now, I'm going to see if I can get some some um some um bait you like how you gonna do that well I need a machete I need a machete I got one come on come with me uh, let's lower you down Whee! so it'd be easy carry all right this how you get worms Son of a bitch! All right, we need really we need something with uh like a a big ass uh foul. We need a big foul. We can't find a foul. We got a machete. Show you how to get some worms if you can find the right place. There's a light damp spot down here. Worms like that damp area you gotta go in that boggy area when it's kind of wet but worms love to play in the mud this is clay up here much worms don't go playing in clay all right i'll go ahead and turn you off until i get to the area <laughs> 